Hello, we are Mike and Leanna from the Dry Campers. Thank you for joining us today. We travel the country installing lithium and solar uh, power systems on RVs so that people can be off-grid. And um, we have another Grand Design Momentum 397TH. We did this install in August and thanks to Paul and Carrie, we were able to boondock on their property as well. Although I think we plugged in more than we boondocked because it, it rained and time. rained and rained and rained some more. <laughs> I swear they must have had 10 inches of rain. Uh, yeah, and they hadn't had any before we arrived. So you're welcome, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, but yeah, we were actually uh, right outside of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for the install. And it was uh, pretty exciting, actually, because we ended up also not only meeting Paul and Carrie and having a great time with them, but we also had two friends of ours. Um, one was an Instagram friend and the other, well, the other we actually met on Instagram too. However, um, we had met them in person like two weeks prior. Um, they also have a YouTube channel and um, Instagram, like I said. It was pretty awesome though to be in that area and still be able to meet up with friends. That was pretty neat. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a good break. Yeah. Sometimes we need those. All right, so he has just now removed the first wall. So... Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't even make this, they didn't square it up, basically. I mean, they went the... That's the least resistance. Yeah. Um, so, it was a little little angled there. So, he lost that space. And then, of course, with the angled wall, he's losing space as well. Um, and then, of course, they've got the little hot mess back here. Hot mess express. So, I'm going to start calling it. Yeah. Of course, they put the transfer switch right there in the middle like they normally do. Why do you think that they don't put it, like, back in there? Less labor. Less labor? Yeah. Labor's most expensive. So, this one looks like the rest of them, though, right? Yeah. Behind the wall? Okay. So, yeah, this, this one looks just like the 397TH is the other ones that we've done. So, you'll have to do a lot of wire maintenance, of course. So... On this monster, which is a, it's a 21, right? I believe so. They literally yeah. just picked it up Tuesday. Yeah, today makes, they, they've had it seven days. So, yes, I work on brand new rigs sometimes and not brand new rigs sometimes. This is a 2021 Grand Design Momentum 397TH. Uh, full body paint, um, you know, the whole works. And we are putting in two dual two multi-pluses, uh, six batteries, 600 amp battery bank, 2,600 watts of solar, uh, two MPPTs, and a 712, three easy starts, and we're gonna fit a whole bunch of stuff down here. Uh, normally what we do is we clean all of this up all the way around, and then um, we do like an L battery bank, and uh, dual multi pluses and then dual mppts this one also has a little extra though they're going to do the libm truck charging mm -hmm. and they're also going to do they purchased a ninth rec panel so that they can have a deployable mm -hmm. yes um so which um because if you've seen this already it is covered so that's just to help mm -hmm. um I guess when they're under here. Yeah, this when they're stationary. They're yeah. they're gonna travel in the spring and fall and then stationary summer and winter. My question is, so you you use two multi pluses, you use the three two three thousand watt multi pluses. Mm -hmm. How come you use two of those instead of the quattro five thousand? Okay. On the quattro five thousand, um it's actually a little bit more expensive and it's only 5,000 watts. Whereas you can do two 3,000 watt inverters and have an extra 
thousand watts for you know a little bit less money a little bit more wiring involved to do two but um, that's more bang for your buck is the way that I look at it so if they have the space in the room it just makes more sense to get the bang for the buck rather than to go with the and that quattro is like 90 pounds isn't it it's, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. hefty yeah it's yeah heavy. Which, I mean, it's the same, pretty much the same as far as the multi-plus goes, but... Right. It, I mean, the, sorry, the 3,000 watt, but at least you don't have to pick up 90 pounds all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not that you couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, but still. <laughs> um, it, it would not be comfortable to do in a tight place. Yeah. So. Okay. But this is nice. I like this. I can sit in here. And so, this is what the um, lighting is... I mean, everybody pretty much knows, um, you know, that the lighting isn't very good in these basements. And that's why he does the lighting the way he does to give you extra, you know, it's a little extra special thing that he puts to his installs. So I'm over here answering emails and he's, you know, dictating to me and he sits up and he goes, oh my gosh. They give you a pull wire. This is oh. that satellite roof access channel. Yes. And so they have a pull wire. I am like just a kid in candy store right now. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting that they're doing on the new models. So we'll see how that works out later. Stay tuned.
So I came to check on Honey, and uh, he was on the roof and putting the uh, wire. The yep, fishing the wires. And I said, "Oh, was that a pull wire for sure?" And yes, yes, it was a pull wire. So I pulled it right the heck out because I found it on the top and I found it on the bottom, and it was coiled up here, nice and neat. Good game. Um, and then the chest move was, you know, checkmate. They attached the wire inside the wall. They zip tied it. So <laughs> I'm pulling stuff that's like this big around. <laughs> and uh, you attach the wire inside the wall. So I had to pull the wire out anyhow.
Well, hi there. Hey, man, that looks awesome. And all the lights change color. There's two separate systems. So this is different. This is on the switch. Ah. And then this is runs right alongside it. Oh, I thought it was a... Uh-uh. What? <laughs> yeah. That is sexy. You'll also know that we put up a little banner um, about a new song. So Mike's cousin actually is a very talented musician and composer, and he composes all of our music, which you, if you've been following us for a while, you know that we use during our time lapse um, sessions and things like that. So I put the little banner up because this is a new song that he actually created for us recently, and the title was just too funny. He cracks me up. <laughs> Um, he comes up with some of some funny stuff, but he is he's really awesome musician So yes. if you guys ever um, You know are in need of music. He does have a patreon um, Account as well. And so that link is going to be in our description, but it's also going to be right here So be sure to check him out on patreon and he does have his own YouTube um, Channel he doesn't do a lot with that, um, but he does have some funny videos on there yes, <laughs> uh, Or one funny video for sure. Yeah. He did he shot a music video with his um, best friend So it was yeah. it was pretty cute all of the music uh, on our channel was written by him so if you need any custom music for your channel or if you want to just check out and see what all he has then uh, definitely go check out his uh, YouTube or uh, patron it's uh, patron.com forward slash Denry so that's my cousin don't forget to subscribe and smash that dingy bell ringy thingy <laughs> join us starting when you start <laughs> hi Hi, I'm Mike and Leanna. This how. Uh, You're hi. Mike and Leanna. Hi, I'm Mike <laughs> and, and <I'm> Leanna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, we're Mike and Leanna. Hey, okay, let's do it. Again. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on, I gotta stop laughing before you start talking. <laughs> I keep looking at you. What am I supposed to do next? I know. I was like, why do you keep looking at me? They like, look at them. <laughs> I don't know. This is not a good sign. Kirk out? Yeah, Kirk out. <laughs>